not sure if you know this or not, but I'm actually over 50 years old. And today I have 50 frugal things that every woman over the age of 50 should master. Hi everybody, my name is Sarah. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you don't know me, I am the owner of FrozenPennies.com. I am a financial coach and as a family we are debt free. Yes, 50 things that every woman over 50 should master. Let's face it, we're getting to that point in our lives where we're trying to prepare for other big milestones. We're either preparing for retirement, we're trying to help our children with college, we're looking toward our future, we're making life changes, we may be planning for empty nester syndrome. Those things are huge milestones in our life. And we need to be out of debt and debt free before we get there so we can help our family and retire and have some fun. In order to retire, we need to make sure all of our debt is paid off and we're living like we're already retired. So these 50 tips are gonna help us get there. Number one, create and stick to a monthly budget. Now, not every month is going to be perfect, but putting in the old effort to do that is going to help. And you can get this free, digital, downloadable, monthly planner. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. It's going to be a huge help to you if you like paper and pen. If you don't like paper and pen, I highly recommend Quicken by Simplify. It's an app that's really good. There is a free version. I think it's just a trial and then there's a paid version. I'm gonna leave a link below for that if you would rather do it digitally. Either way, it doesn't matter. Having a budget is mandatory. Number two, cook meals at home. If you cook every single meal at home, A, you're probably going to be burnt out and you're probably going to be exhausted and you're probably just going to be tired of cooking, but you will save so much money. It is by far one of the main keys to living a more frugal life. Cook and eat at home. Number three, take your lunch to work. Leftovers, sandwiches, easy peasy dinners and meals, batch cook if you need to, but don't spend the money on lunch at work. Number four, use coupons and shop the sales at grocery stores. Check out the loss leaders, Look at the digital coupons because just about every grocery store now has their own app. Make sure that you are finding the cheap foods to eat and plan. Number five, buy generic and store brands. Many of the times you'll find that they taste exactly the same. Sometimes you might find that they even taste better than the national brands. Number six, embrace meal planning in order to save money and save on waste. Vow to never throw food away. If you don't think that you're going to eat it fast enough, create a meal and put it in the freezer. This way, when you're stuck for something to take for lunch, for work, you can just pull out that frozen meal and it'll be defrosted by the time you're ready to eat. Number seven, shop at thrift stores or consignment shops for clothing and household items. If you can find it used, do that first. If you can't find it used, find the best deal you can. Number eight, Utilize the library as much as possible, not only for books, but for movies, as well as digital books and digital movies. Some libraries even have a lending room where you can borrow small appliances. Take full advantage of your library. Number nine, reduce energy costs by getting energy smart appliances and turning things off. You could even consider going as far as flipping the circuit breaker to turn things off. Number 10, cancel those unused memberships and apps and subscriptions if you're not using it. And most importantly, if you don't feel like you're getting your money's worth, cancel it. It's not worth it. You can always find a cheaper alternative. Number 11, if you haven't done this already, cut the cable cord. Utilize streaming services in smart TVs and even your phone to find more affordable forms of entertainment. Number 12, use public transportation, carpool, or batch your errands in order to save money on gas. If you live in an area where the bus system is good, consider ditching the vehicle altogether. Number 13, opt for free entertainment, such as 
Concerts in the park in the summer, going for a good walk, or even taking advantage of free days at local museums. Number 14, if you're planning on going on vacation, plan that vacation in the off season. The majority of the time, hotels and amusements are much less in the off season. Number 13, comparison shop for the best prices before you make any purchases. I know for me, I am all over the internet if I'm looking to make a purchase on something, looking for the best price. Number 16, do your very best to repair anything before replacing. This could mean anything from a shirt to your dishwasher to your car. There are a plethora of resources on the internet to help you fix just about anything. Number 17, embrace the DIY projects and the repurposing of things. Pull it in, show it some love, get a little sandpaper, a little paint goes a long way. Instead of purchasing something brand new, embrace the DIY. Number 18, sell unused or unwanted stuff in order to make some money and decrease clutter. We all know that clutter costs money. So decrease the cost of clutter by selling the stuff that you no longer need. Number 19, negotiate and shop around for monthly expenses like cable and internet and other monthly charges. They may give you a deal, they may not give you a deal, but I am willing to bet, if possible, there's another company out there with a better price. Number 20, buy in bulk those non-perishable things that you use often. If you find a good deal on toilet paper, Buy as much as you can, as much as your house can hold, as much space as your closet has for that amount of toilet paper. If it's a good deal, you can't go wrong because you're gonna use it eventually and it's not going to go bad. Number 21, grow anything that you have space for. If you only have space for a little herb garden in your window, then start there. If you have more space for container gardens, grow as many fruits and vegetables as you possibly can to reduce your grocery costs. Number 22, make your own cleaning products. One or two cleaning products made with a little vinegar, with a little baking soda, some essential oils, will work for anything. It will pretty much clean anything that you have in your house and disinfect. I have a great resource for essential oils. My good friend Gretchen that I went to high school with is an aromatherapist. I'm gonna leave a link below for you. She's got the best essential oils. Avoid impulse purchases and allow yourself a cooling off period. There's something called the 24 hour rule, which is great for online shopping. Put it in your cart, wait 24 hours, and then reevaluate whether you actually need that product or not. Nine times out of 10, you'll discover that you probably don't need it, you can wait. Number 24, use cash instead of debit or credit cards to avoid fees and interest payments. You cannot go wrong with using cash. You will never have to worry about that 30% interest coming back and biting you if you can't pay that credit card off. Number 25, learn basic mending skills so you can repair your clothing instead of purchasing new. Utilize free learning resources online. YouTube is a fantastic way to do this. Educate yourself for free or cheap. Take classes, read books, watch videos, and learn skills that you might not know that you even needed. Number 27, instead of going to the gym, opt in for free exercise. So YouTube videos, going for a walk, maybe going to the park, going for a hike. All of those things are free. They do not charge you a monthly fee and you can enjoy the great outdoors. Now, if you're like me and it's the middle of the winter and you're thinking there is no way that I'm going for a hike out in the middle of the woods in the winter, then consider online YouTube videos for exercise or just do a little dancing in the kitchen. As a matter of fact, I am pretty sure that my mom is still using a VHS exercise tape and VCR to do aerobic exercises. And I'm pretty sure that tape is from the late 80s and it still works. Number 28, now you have to check into this because I know Netflix has buckled down on this. Share online streaming services with friends and family. Netflix won't allow you to do this. They've got to track your 
on your IP address now, and they get very upset when you try to share passwords. So you can't do that with Netflix, but you might be able to do that with other subscriptions like Paramount or Peacock or Apple. Check into it. Number 29, DIY gifts for people instead of purchasing expensive gifts. Sometimes people just don't need more stuff. So if you give them a perishable, like some jelly or pickles that you made or a good homemade bread, they might find more joy in that than they would more pot holders or socks or another mug. Number 30, take advantage of loyalty programs and rewards at stores. Things like the Target Circle, for example. Every grocery store has an app where you can earn points. Take full advantage of your cell phone if you have a smartphone and put those apps on it and then remind yourself to use the apps. Number 31, practice mindfulness when you're shopping. This means in-person shopping and online shopping. Think of how you would use the item, where you would put the item, and whether or not you truly need that item. Number 32, learn to do basic repairs on your car. We are women, we are strong, we are smart, and we are capable of changing our own oil in our car. Now granted, I have a husband who's very good at this, but if I did not have him around, you bet I would be watching YouTube videos, figuring out how to do that, and crawling my fanny underneath that car to change the oil before I would spend $75 to have somebody else do it for me. Shop at farmer's markets or local produce stands when in season to save money on fruits and vegetables. I love our local produce stands in our area. They're phenomenal, they're fantastic, and their fruits and vegetables taste so much better than grocery store. Highly recommend two thumbs up. Utilize natural light as much as possible and use a programmable thermostat in order to regulate the temperature. Our thermostat in the winter is set pretty low during the day and only goes up in the afternoons and evenings. Because there's nobody home during the day, I'm upstairs in my office, my husband is out doing stuff, day programs and jobs exist, nobody is home. I'm not going to heat an empty house. Number 35, consider refurbished electronics. If you need a new cell phone, consider purchasing a refurbished phone at a fraction of the cost of a new one. Number 38, practice delayed gratification and pass on purchases of many things. This is an exercise in patience and it also will help you when you drop that Amazon Prime membership that you say you're only holding on to for that two day shipping. Embrace minimalism and declutter regularly. Whether you're donating your unused things or you're selling them at a garage sale or you're using consignment shops, do it on a regular basis to stay on top, especially us women over 50. It's time for us to downsize and declutter our belongings because most of the stuff we don't even use. Number 37, opt in for free or low cost hobbies and entertainment. I mean, it doesn't cost anything to go watch the birds, right? And for me, one of my hobbies is YouTube. I love to watch YouTube. I also love to read. I can get so many books for little or no money. Create a price book. You can either do this in your phone. There's actually apps. I will leave a name of a, an app that I can't seem to remember the name of it. I'm gonna leave it up at the top for you that you can use for your phone and create your own price book. I had for years one of those small assignment little notebooks that I had lettered in alphabetical order for all of the best prices. This way, you know when you see a sale on mayonnaise whether or not it's a good deal. Number 40, use free budget planners or spreadsheets in order to budget your finances. No need to pay when you can get this free digital downloadable budget for free. Did I mention it's free? The link is in the description below. Avoid convenience stores. Convenience stores and gas stations will take your money. They will take all of your money. They are ridiculously overpriced and you don't need to buy anything there. Make sure when you're leaving the house, you have a bottle of water and a good high protein snack 
so you don't need to spontaneously swing by the convenience store and grab a snack. Number 42, try out a no spend challenge, whether it be a weekend, a week, a month, or even a year. Take into consideration that the money that you save, will you will be able to invest in a savings account or even your retirement. It's a good way to kind of reset your spending habits. Number 43, this sounds like so much fun. Participate in a clothing swap. If you have a bunch of friends and they are all about the same size as you or they vary in sizes, the more people the better. Get together, put all your clothes out and then do a clothing swap. Everybody brings 10 pieces of clothing. Everybody gets to bring home 10 new pieces of clothing at no cost to anybody. Number 44, use the apps that give you cash back when doing the shopping that you are going to do anyway or earn those gift cards. Utilize cash back websites and mobile apps in order to save money when shopping. If you have to shop, make sure you grab a Chrome extension or an app and find those discounts and earn back money. Number 45, make your own coffee at home. This means iced coffee too and all of those fancy coffees that you see at Starbucks and Dunkin'. Learn to create your own concoctions and have them exactly the way that you like them and still save a boatload of money. Consider a clothesline or drying rack in order to cut costs on your dryer. Especially in the winter time, if you use a clothing rack to dry your clothes inside in the winter, it adds more moisture to the air and helps that dry skin and it also helps your electric bill. Number 47, along with utilizing the library, just opt for digital books and e-readers instead of purchasing physical book. If you like a physical book, use the library. But if you, like me, also enjoy the convenience of a digital book on your Kindle, then grab that Libby app and utilize the library or take advantage of Amazon free book days in order to stuff your Kindle. Number 48, volunteer or work part-time at a local food co-op or food pantry in order to utilize their items at a discounted price, including activities too. Number 49, opt for only buying in-season produce in order to save a lot of money as well as have better tasting fruits and vegetables. If you can't grow your own, then buy only in-season produce. And lastly, number 50, consider a food co-op or buying club with friends and family in order to buy in bulk and then distribute and share the costs. Okay, those are my 50 tips for women over 50 to live a more frugal life. Please, if you have any more to add to this list, leave me a comment, let me know. I'd love to add this to a future video. Thank you so much for watching everybody. I truly appreciate you. Have a great day, bye-bye.